Storm Team 2 Viper Radar is here. Count on Storm Team 2 and Viper Radar. Now, your Storm Team 2 forecast first. Sponsored by Joy Law Firm. It's 5 o'clock. Good morning. I hope you're having a great start to your day. Let's get you going. Overcast this morning with areas of dense fog at the bus stop. We'll be in the mid 50s this morning, headed to the mid 70s this afternoon with the sun coming up at 722 with intervals of clouds and sun. 76, by the way, is just shy of the record high of 78 today. We'll be back in less than two minutes and give you a look ahead into the weekend. Now, count on two, live and local in the low country. This is News 2 Today. Good Thursday morning, everyone. Thanks so much for joining us this morning and starting your day off with us. I'm Lexi Moore. And I'm Octavia Mitchell. It is 5 o'clock right now. Certainly appreciate you joining us this morning. <laughs> Josh and Megan have you covered this morning with weather and traffic together on the twos. But first this morning, Monday, disbarred attorney Alec Murdoch is expected to stand trial for the murders of his wife and youngest son. Murdoch's lawyers have doubled down on their effort to exclude what they claim is fabricated evidence regarding the shirt Murdoch was wearing the night of the murders. Now, count on two, live and local in the low country. This is News 2 Today. Good Thursday morning, everyone. 726 right now. I'm Octavia Mitchell. And I'm Lexi Moore. A mess on I-26 right now. Significant delays after an accident near Ashley Phosphate Road. We want to go straight over to Megan Fee this morning. Megan, drivers of... Several miles for traffic are stuck in this morning's brush hour. Good morning. That's right. Good morning, guys. Right now, this is the live look at the accident. It's right at mile marker 209, so near Ashley Phosphate Road in the eastbound lane. Looks like traffic is just starting to move, but we're still looking at about eight or nine miles of backup right now. So the fastest way to get around this is going to be to either take Lincolnville Road or Highway 78, then take that all the way towards 52, get on the connector there, and then you're good to have back on I-26 right near Ashley Phosphate Road. If you do wait it out, though, you're looking at about a 75-minute drive from Somerville into downtown. There's a live look at standstill traffic there at Ashley Phosphate Road. Good morning, Josh. Hey, good morning, Megan. Right now, we're looking at sunshine breaking out across the area after some low clouds and fog earlier. That is mixing out temperatures in the mid and upper 50s now. We're headed for afternoon highs in the mid to upper 70s. That's near record for today. The record is 78. Look for a partly to mostly sunny sky with a gusty southwest breeze developing this afternoon at about 15 to 20 miles per hour. Tomorrow, mostly sunny, comfortable in the upper 60s. Cooler Saturday rain on the way Sunday. In two rooftop weather, sponsored by Limerick Plumbing, Heating and Air. All right, let's get you going here as we head through the midday hours. Scattered high clouds are moving overhead and temperatures are climbing quickly. We're headed for near record highs in the mid to upper 70s today. Temperatures right now are in the upper 60s to low 70s. This puts us right on track to hit those numbers. We'll be up to around 75 at noon to 76 at 1 to 77 at 2. The record on the day is 78. We're also going to be seeing gusty winds through the day today with wind gusts as high as 25 to 30 miles per hour. I'm back in less than 10, 15 minutes with a look ahead at the Low Country's only 10-day outlook as we take you into the weekend with changes on the way. Now, count on two, live and local in the Low Country. This is News 2 Midday. The trial for disbarred attorney and accused murderer Alec Murdoch is set to start next week. How the latest developments in the case are expected to impact the trial. Police say that dozens of cars were broken into at an apartment complex on Daniel Island. We spoke to some of the victims of these break-ins and have the latest details on the police investigation. And a mystery at a mobile petting zoo in Holly Hill killing dozens of animals. What the owner believes is causing the issue and what he's doing to put a stop to it. Good morning. Thanks so much for joining us this morning on News 2 Midday. It's great to have you here. I'm Lexi Moore. We're so glad you're here. I'm Hannah Powers. Well, on Monday, disbarred attorney Alec Murdoch's expected to stand trial for the murders of his wife and youngest son. Murdoch's lawyers have doubled down on their effort to exclude what they claim is fabricated evidence regarding the shirt Murdoch was wearing the night of the murders. All right, so I'm sitting down talking with Tommy McQueenie today. 
You are a Charleston native, an author, a historian, but I want you to kind of tell me your story. Well, um, part of it is that I grew up here, you know, and born and raised here, a large, large family. And uh, there's, there's just uh, so much that is known among those that are my vintage um, of what Charleston was way back when uh, in the 50s and 60s. Now, your Storm Team 2 forecast first. Sponsored by Centerwell Senior Primary Care. As expected, very warm today. In fact, officially 78 is the record high. 77 is as high as I've seen it so far, so just really close to that record high. As far as the next few days, changes are coming. First, we could get a shot of rain later on tonight, and then we're going to get some cooler weather. Here's a satellite perspective. Again, we did see a mix of sun and clouds, and there are some showers kind of trying to slide on through. Not much rain in terms of Viper right now. Temperature is 72 in Goose Creek and in Walterboro, 72 in Monk's Corner heading over to Mount Pleasant at 70. And if you're out and about on a Thursday night, we'll go from 72 by 5 o'clock to the upper 60s by 8 to the mid 60s by midnight. We'll tell you about those weather changes on the way coming up in just a few minutes. News 2 at 4 starts right now. Now, count on 2, live and local in the low country. This is News 2 at 4. A former prosecutor in Berkeley County has pleaded guilty to assaulting his children. We'll tell you more about the charges and how he will serve out his time. And last minute preparations underway for the high profile murder trial of Alec Murdoch. I'm Raleigh Benson in studio breaking down what attorneys are doing ahead of the trial getting underway next Monday. Good afternoon and thanks so much for joining us for News 2 at 4 o'clock. I'm Erin Morgan. We begin with developing news. A former prosecutor in Berkeley County has pleaded guilty to hitting and choking his children. News 2's Raymond Owens was in court and has the latest from Monk's Corner. Now your Storm Team 2 forecast first. Wrapping up a warm day today, let's head over to Somerville. It's third Thursday, and a lot of folks are out there enjoying the food and just the fellowship and just also the weather. You also notice those flags are flying, so it's still rather breezy out there as we check in on the uh, current uh, map. There's a live look again, Somerville. Looks like it's locked up, but uh, we are keeping an eye on potentially a few light showers that could move on through, but most of those will stay down to our south. It is 72 in Somerville right now, 71 in Goose Creek. Mount Pleasant at 68, down to Edisto Beach at 59. Through the night tonight, we'll keep it in the upper 60s all the way at least through the early evening, down to the mid and even lower 60s after midnight. After that, we do see some temperature changes and a better chance of rain later in the weekend. I'll break it down with Viper cast coming up in just a few minutes. News 2 at 5 starts right now. Now, count on two, live and local in the low country. This is News 2 at 5. Last minute preparations and 11th hour motions as state prosecutors and Murdoch's defense gear up for the high profile trial of Alec Murdoch. I'm Riley Benson breaking down what decisions could be made before the trial begins. A former special prosecutor in Berkeley County sentenced to prison. How much time he will serve after pleading guilty to assaulting his children. Good evening. Thanks for joining us on this Thursday. I'm Brendan Clark. And I'm Erin Morgan in for Carolyn Murray. Defense attorneys for disbarred attorney Alec Murdoch are filing last minute motions for the high profile murder trial that begins on Monday. Uh, Murdoch is accused of killing his wife and son back in June of 2021. News News' Riley Benson joins us live in studio and Riley new motions will likely be taken up next week before the start of this trial. Now your Storm Team 2 forecast first, sponsored by American Biker. Wrapping up a warm day today. Temperatures did reach the upper 70s, very close to the record. Right now, a nice evening out in Somerville. It's third Thursday. A lot of folks gathered out there enjoying uh, time to eat at the food trucks and also just enjoy fun and fellowship. Maybe you're enjoying the radar scan, which is pretty quiet right now. Even though there is still a small threat, we could see a shower. Somerville, you're 70, 66 in Mount Pleasant, 60 at Estoe Beach, as well as Folly Beach. And through the evening, expect temperatures to still Still stay in the upper 60s for most of us at least until after midnight or so dropping into the low 60s. It will be a cooler start. Will it be a dry start? I'll let you know coming up in just a few minutes. News 2 at 6 starts right now. Now, count on 2. Live and local in the low country. This is News 2 at 6. Just four days away from the start of the murder trial for Alec Murdoch. And tonight, 
team coverage on last minute preparations and a count on two investigation into the process of jury selection. Plus, a former prosecutor finding himself on the other side of the law. Tonight, he's being sentenced to time in prison after he's accused of choking his own children. And tomorrow is the official opening of Top Golf here in North Charleston. But according to city leaders, even more development is on the way. I'll tell you what you can expect just ahead. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Brendan Clark. And I'm Erin Morgan in for Carolyn Murray. We begin tonight with team coverage on the impending murder trial of Alec Murdoch. It's a case that we have filed and brought you updates on for more than 18 months now. And now just four days until the murder trial in which that high profile attorney Alec Murdoch accused of killing his son and wife. In just a few minutes, News News Riley Benson will tell you about the last minute court filings ahead of this trial. That's right, but first we are bringing answers to the questions circulating over whether Murdoch can get a fair trial and impartial 12 member jury in the close knit community of Colleton County. I spoke with a lawyer that's familiar with the case in tonight's Count on Two investigation. Tonight on News 2 at 11, it could be days before opening arguments and Alec Murdoch's murder trial with jury selections and motions. We take a look at the process leading up to day one. That's tonight at 11. Now, your Storm Team 2 forecast first. Sponsored by Window World. We are wrapping up a very warm day, almost tied a record today, only missed it by one degree with a very comfortable night under a mainly clear sky. The clouds continue to move on out. Third Thursday was a big hit over in Somerville. They've cleaned up now, obviously, but things are pretty quiet around the area. Storm Team 2 live Viper showing really not much going on. Had a chance, small threat of a few showers, but those have moved on by. 65 in North Charleston right now, 63 in St. George, low 60s, Merle's Inlet to Georgetown, 63, a popular temperature also up in King Street. And as far as what you can expect through the rest of the night, temperatures falling into the 50s. We'll go from the mid 60s now to the mid 50s by 5 a.m. to the low 50s out the door. But plenty of sunshine as we kick off your Friday. We do see some changes coming in, and that does mean some rain. I'll tell you when coming up in just a few minutes. News 2 at 11 starts right now. Now, count on two, live and local in the low country. This is News 2 at 11. Less than four days away from the start of the murder trial for Alec Murdoch. Tonight, coverage on last minute preparations and a deeper dive into the process of jury selection. Plus, a former prosecutor finding himself on the other side of the law tonight. He's been sentenced to time in prison after he's accused of choking his own children. The Charleston County a uh, school district spelling bee was held for the first time in person since the start of COVID-19 pandemic. I'm Kevon Dupree, and I'll have more from the event coming up. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Brendan Clark, and we begin tonight with team coverage on the impending murder trial of Alec Murdoch. This is a case we have filed and brought you updates on for more than 18 months. And now, just four days until the murder trial in which the high-profile attorney is accused of killing his son and wife. Mrs. Riley Benson tells us about the last-minute court filings ahead of this trial. 